Well, for Frank and Muth, well, we're seeing a quiet start to your day today. However, we are getting ready for some big changes to move in by Wednesday night into Thursday, so enjoy the quiet weather while we have it. But this morning's weather is all about the temperature contrast from our northern communities to our southern communities. Take a look at the cloud line just to the south of Bay City, so from Saginaw to Freeland, and then we'll say just to the south of Bad Axe. This is where we're seeing the clouds clearing out to the north and the clouds thickening up to the south. Well, beneath those clouds, we have warmer temperatures than yesterday. Look at that, 5 to 10 degree temperature jump beneath the clouds. But where we have the clear skies, all that warmth from yesterday, it just escapes back out into space. The clouds trap the heat from yesterday here at the surface, so that's why our southern communities are much warmer than our northern communities. We're at 39 now in Mount Morris, 38 in Corona. Of course, that's still chilly, but it's not 23 like we're seeing in Beaverton, 24 in West Branch. We're actually seeing the coldest temperature so far this season for our northern communities. But with the clouds in Essexville and Bridgeport, also Reese, we're seeing mid 30s, 29 in Mount Pleasant at the CMU campus and 31 in Bad Axe, right on that cloud to clear skyline. So we're watching the clouds for you this morning. And I'll be in and out of the area throughout the day today. I think our best chance to see the sunshine will be where we have the clear skies currently at. And that's for our northern communities. We'll see some of that mixing in with the clouds later today. But we're already noticing some brighter white clouds out west and what those are are high and mid-level clouds. They are basically at the very top of the atmosphere, at least for the lower part of the atmosphere here, what's important to us. And those are associated with showers and storms that developed out towards our west last night. Now, I'm not concerned about any raindrops today, maybe a sprinkle worst case scenario. But as we go throughout the next 24 hours, all of this moisture is going to steadily progress to the east and the timing could not be any worse. I know a lot of trick-or-treaters are getting really excited about Thursday night and Today's model data supports the heaviest of the rainfall coming in Thursday night with this storm system out west. So here's how it sets up. The cold front yesterday, that's why we're seeing the cooler temperatures to the north. That's now lining up right along the Ohio border. It is beginning to move back to the north, though, as a warm front, and that will pull in a lot of moisture from the south, also warmer temperatures. So at least Halloween is going to be warm for us coming up but it will be pretty rainy out there as well. And Futurecast keeps us just in the clouds throughout the day today. Shows that we could see that sprinkle or snowflake late this afternoon into tonight, but I do feel the best chances will hold off until Wednesday night into Thursday. And again, that's when we'll be pretty, pretty soggy out there for trick-or-treaters, unfortunately, but it'll be warm. Look at that, from 49 today to 65 Thursday. The warmth is short-lived because by the weekend, we're back into the cooler weather again with mid to upper 40s for highs. Looks like we'll see a few showers also from Friday into Saturday.